In some ways, this also complicates the OPEC Plus meeting that, of course, Manus and I are looking ahead to uh, next week. You see a range of 50 to 80 dollars on Brent. We're pretty much bang in the middle of that right now at 65. Are the risks right now for you more to the upside or the downside? I think they're more to the upside. It's been interesting the oil price hasn't rallied by a lot more. Mm. And I think that's because global oil supply is still really, really high and also inventories are very high. So actually, you know, global demand is, is pretty weak at the moment, particularly from China. So actually, it's those conditions that are keeping the oil price in that range. I think if we were expecting a much more of an escalation in conflict, you'd just clearly see oil rally a lot more from here and potentially above that 80, 80 range I mentioned. Sean, look, we don't know where these negotiations will go to or indeed potential escalation uh, in between the United States and Iran. Where would you want to hedge yourself? Have a look at gold, because some people would sort of say you want some yen, you want some gold, you want something which is robust uh, that you can lay your hands on. My question to you is, you've seen this breakout in gold. Is that overdone or does it act as, as one or two people would say, a highly relevant portfolio diversifier, according to ANZ? Well, it's interesting, the gold price hasn't rallied as much as you think because, of course, we've had a weaker dollar in the last few weeks. So if you look at the, the gold price measured in units of Dixie, uh, trade-weighted dollar, it's not as strong as it looks. But I think really gold reflects the fall in real yields rather than geopolitical tensions. So there is more, uh, more to go in gold if you believe that geopolitical tensions are going to rise from here. Uh, we're not so bullish on gold. I don't think it's as good as a portfolio diversifier as everyone says. It generally adds to your risk. Uh, but it's interesting to look for diversifiers at the moment. We like the yen more than gold.